This is the best defense in Madden 23 that no one knows about. Nope. It shuts down the run. Plays airtight pass defense. And gets sacks and takeaways all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, see ya. stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again going to be using my New Orleans Saints offense and my Denver Broncos defensive ebooks. But the concept that I'll be using is something that you can really do out of just about any defensive formation in the game, which I'll explain a little bit later. As always, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments section. But if you want to see more money plays right now from this or any of my ebooks and you don't want to wait, all you have to do is click the link in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice and download them instantly to your phone or laptop. In this game, I start out on offense and I I'm once again going to be using my gun stack by flex offense pretty much all game i just put out a bunch of new one play touchdowns from this offense in a gameplay so if you guys missed that and want to see how i run this explosive offense i'll have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video so stick around for that on the first play i read man coverage so i take a zig route for a big catch and run then on the next play switches to man zero so i hit and joku again on a sail route this is my first time using the browns all year my biggest impression is david and joku is the stud in this game it gets me to a third and seven in the red zone so i switch to my saints fork which is my Go to play in any critical situation when running is not really an option, as multiple routes here get open against any defense. As we easily get a touchdown in the back of the end zone with Amari Cooper and and take the lead on the opening drive. On defense, I start this game like most Madden players, using my favorite cover zero defense, since that's the meta right now in Madden 23. But I find that at this point in the season, most people have developed a good counter strategy for this type of defense. I know I have, and in fact, it's to the point that this is my favorite defense to play against, since I have more money plays in my arsenal for man zero blitz defenses than anything else. Even my opponent was running man zero most of the first drive, but I went right down the field and scored. So my goal in today's video is to show you guys an alternative defense that might be even better and more effective than Man Zero Blitz. It still has this place as one of the best defenses to use, as you can see on the first play as the pressure forces a bad throw, but on third down, my opponent already has a plan as he completes a short pass over the middle of the tight end for a first. He then hurries me up, and he had the coverage beat once again on an out route, gotcha, bitch. but I'm able to switch on and get the interception from a different defender in the area. But this only happened because he ran the play to the short side of the field. I don't keep the ball long, though, as I try to hit a simple curl route, which should be cover zero, but I rarely use this route, and it's picked off. But this is probably the biggest problem when it comes to man defense in general is it doesn't cover short routes unless you press or shade underneath, which is a really bad idea if you have no safety over the top, as this is usually the result, as the cornerbacks will let the receivers fly right past them on streaks like this. Knowing this, I didn't even play underneath coverage. I just pressed and lost a dominant press animation to a star receiver, which is another issue with man zero blitz as well, since there is no safety over the top to take this away. So to recap, if you play off, you get beat on underneath routes, and if you press or shade down to stop it, you will get beat over the top. The defense I'm going to show you later in the video will solve both of these problems, so stick around for that. Back on offense, my opponent is in the same cover zero once again, and I go 60 yards with a simple zig route to the tight end once again. The only thing that stops this route is if you press and shade down and underneath, which no one does because the consequence is the deep coverage. Then on the next play, since he almost jumped the zig route to the tight end, I decide to put a zig on the other side, and I'm once again inside the red zone in just two plays. I just went 70 yards on two plays with simple zig routes he then comes out in a cover one but thinks twice and switches to a random cover two zone which i read and beat with a corner out scoring once again in just a few plays to take the lead back I'm going to show you the defense that I will hide these flaws with, and you can use this method from whatever your favorite formation is. I'm going to use the Dime 2-3, which is a formation I put out several blitzes from, and I will once again have links in the description and at the end of the video if you guys want to see more. I like this formation because it is set up like a regular nickel formation with two second level defenders that act like linebackers and make for slightly better run defense. But this particular defense has a sub package safety that you can swap out for a cornerback for better pass coverage as well. If you know your opponent is going to pass, I suggest putting in a cornerback here and a safety at the other linebacker spot. 
The play is a simple cover two man. There's nothing special about this play at all, which is why I said you can use this setup from any formation in the game. Cover two man is traditionally not a good run defense, but because of the second level defenders, it does a pretty good job of limiting the run. Just know that this is primarily meant to be used as a pass defense first. There's two different setups, but the shading adjustments are always the same. Every time I run this play, I'm going to press the secondary and shade underneath. This will stop the short route since I have safeties over the top and I no longer have to worry about giving up deep passes. I did a video explaining how shading works on defense and I will once again have links in the description if you guys want to know more. The second step is to shade inside or outside which I will do every single play but I will choose where to shade based off of what I see on offense. On this play three of the four receivers are on the short side of the field so mathematically there's a 75% chance that that's where the ball will go. But they are also on the short side of the field and most people want to run their offense to the open side of the field for more space. We already saw how this cost him an interception on the first drive. So based on what I am seeing here I'm going to expect them to cross the field so I will shade inside. The last step is with the middle linebacker. I can either leave him man to the running back or I can put him in a deep third over the middle which I decide to do because he has been a vertical passer to this point. My user is going to be one of the edge rushers which I replace with fast outside linebackers that I will use her over the middle to take away any crossing routes to get open. If I pause the screen here you can see that everything is locked up except for the running back which is now my responsibility to use her which of course I lose in coverage allowing him to get a first down but everything was locked up except my man. I decided to go back to man zero for the rest of this drive and on the very next play I get good pressure but still get beat deep despite a bad throw. Then on third and four his tight end gets open on a wheel route and he has now put up 14 points against my man zero defenses. Damn it! Back on offense, I'm still killing him with zigs as Njoku is straight up dipping on would-be tacklers. Fight! <laughs> As I go back to him on the next play on a sail route once again for another big play. He is such a beast. On third and five, I want to go back to him, but he is now being bracketed in double coverage. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. I try to throw it into a tight window anyway, but I can't adjust and have to settle for a field goal. Attempt that I sail wide. <laughs> Back on defense, I still haven't learned my lesson as I try to go to another man zero blitz, this time the dollar spinner defense, which also doesn't work as he gets into the red zone in just two plays. I get a lucky pressure on the next play, forcing a bad pass, then on third and ten I am lucky once again that the tight end lands out of bounds, or it would have been another touchdown, but instead I hold him to a field goal to get the ball back with 30 seconds left, giving up 17 points for my cover zero defenses. On offense, I get back in the field goal range pretty quickly before a bad actually throw cost me an interception that he returns to midfield, leaving him one short completion away from another field goal before half. So on the next play, I go back to my cover two man defense for the, only the second time this game. I make the same adjustments, only this time he is in an even set with two receivers on both sides, which means the play has a 50-50 chance to be on either side of the field, making the open side of the field my only indicator on where the ball is going to go. It's simple math once again, as 60% of the field is on the left, so I shade to the outside, and even though the corner completely misses the jam once again against his star receiver, he is still running the route since I shade to the outside, so he beats the receiver to the spot to get the interception. So with four Four seconds left I get up and I only have to get past two defenders and I have nothing but slow linemen and a quarterback to beat to score with no time left on the clock before half to take the lead. In the second half he tries one of my one play touchdowns against me. Luckily I put the linebacker into a deep third to take it away but he still beats me on a crosser for the check down. On the next play, everything is locked up as he tries to buy time before he has to throw it away. On the next play, everything is locked up again except for the running back in the backfield who is the only player who can't be pressed from this defense. On the next play, he tries the Z spot and go over the middle, but everything is locked up once again. No. One of the most important adjustments to make on this defense is to go to your coaching adjustments and set ball in the air defense to play receiver as tight coverage will result in more knockouts making this defense even better. He starts to run the ball more and you can see that the run defense is solid as I get him into a third and six before everything is locked up once again forcing him to run with the quarterback as nothing is open. This is probably the biggest issue on this defense as no one is watching the quarterback and you only have three pass rushers so be aware of that. I get him into a third and ten and you can see the benefit of playing the receiver as nothing is open once again and the double team gets the knockout nope. as we hold him to another field goal that actually feels earned this time. On offense, I am only up a point and he is still doubling my tight end in the flat. So on third and seven, I put him on a drag route instead for an easy catch and run for the first. Since he is in man coverage and taking away everything short, I am going to set up a one play touchdown from the drive H wheel that I showed in my last video from this offense. Link in the description. All you have to do is streak the B route and the Y route sets the pick for the streak. But on this play, he almost gets back in time to make a play but it's at a really tough angle so we moss him anyway and almost score a touchdown before punching it in on the ground. Back on defense we are still locking everything up with this defense until we get a coverage sack. 
I get them to a third and 14, and I'm all over this route. But for some reason, the button does respond when I go for the interception, and he goes for it on fourth and three. Everything is locked up once again until he playmakers up the field for a big first down. On the next play, he tries to playmaker again, but nothing is open, and he has to run for four yards with the quarterback once again before he goes to my gun stack wide flex offense and beating me on a slant. I switch over to cover four inside the red zone for better run defense, and it works on the first play, but fails in the second play, as he also runs it in for two point conversion to tie the game. Back on offense, I go right back to the drive at drill, but I threw it a little bit early, so I have to high point it to make sure that I come down with it. Then I can see that the running back is uncovered, so I hit the wheel route to get inside the red zone, and now all I care about is killing clock. So I switch to the run and could care less about getting the first before kicking a field goal to go ahead with 21 seconds left. Then with 16 seconds left, I go right back to that cover too with the deep middle safety, and he just barely gets a completion out of bounds with 11 seconds, and now is one catch away from a field goal try. On the next play, the pressure saves the day. Then on second down, the coverage is tight once again, forcing a Hail Mary attempt with only three seconds left, and that's the ball game. In the end, this defense made him complete only 48% of his passes, and you can see the run defense held his running back to three yards of carry. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more from the offense that I use in this video or some blitzes that you can find in this exact same defensive package, I will have them both popping up on the screen right now. So click the links if you want to know more, as I'm sure it'll help out your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below